Um, next up is Claudia Sebastiani from Colibri Live. Uh, Colibri means hummingbird, and that is one of the most beautiful uh, logos I've ever seen, Claudia. Claudia is a climate resilience consultant with an incredible passion for the environment. And um, she was an incredible participant uh, in the in the program and very excited. Uh, actually, let me uh, do this again, just because I um, didn't have it full screen. Here we go again. Claudia Sebastiani is from Colibri Live. Colibri uh, is Spanish for hummingbird. And I have to say, this is one of the most beautiful logos I have ever seen. Claudia is a climate resilience consultant, and she has a passion for the environment, which you're going to see uh, with great clarity in her amazing presentation. Uh, Claudia Sebastiani, uh, welcome and congratulations. Thank you so much, Dan. Okay. Uh, good morning, class. I'm Claudia Sebastiani. Today, I am absolutely thrilled to share with you the culmination of my journey through this course, where I've gained invaluable insights. I spent a substantial amount of time creating my AI assisted video with a personalized avatar, my recorded voice and using BID presenters. Uh, without these IE tools, these artificial intelligence tools, it would have taken me days or even weeks. So this illustrates the seamless collaboration between AI and human, human creativity. And I had a lot of fun. So I hope that you enjoy it. Thank Would you, you mind starting, starting it again? Yeah. Welcome to Colibri Live, igniting meaningful experiences. Nestled in the vibrant heart of Miami, Colibri Live is not your typical event planner. It's a curator of transformative experiences. As an innovative, immersive music and event planning company, our essence lies in crafting moments that transcend the ordinary. Colibri Live envisions crafting a conscious, community-inclusive event space that hosts a diverse range of gatherings, including brand activations, private and tailored events, regenerative, immersive experiences rooted in music and culture. Step into the future with us, where visionary events meet sustainability in a seamless blend. Follow, engage, and be part of something extraordinary. Colibri Live, embracing wellness through transformative experiences. All right. Um, so I used AI to create a marketing asset that includes a business plan, marketing strategy, and branding identity for Colibri Live. I, um, my um, audience is the city of Miami. And I designed a time limited live flyer with striking visuals and a clear call to action guiding people to my website. How I built this, uh, the both uh, the video and the visual. So for the video, I used a uh, chat GPT-4 for the script and prompts using DALI for the logo image. Uh, Canva Pro plus DID I, AI presenters for video and avatar. I recorded my own voice using voice memos and sound draw for music, which um, you, it's an auto. And then for the visual, I used also ChatGPT4 for the prompt and script and Canva Pro for the image and video. This is the visual with no sound. Here at the bottom, you can see Colibri Live. And the results are that um, you really save time. Uh, I, for the assisted video, it took me about six hours and for the flyer, about an hour and a half. And I feel that the more I use it, the less time it'll take me. I'm also very, very detailed. So I kind of uh, took a little longer because I wanted to add a few things here and there, but uh, it really helped me use uh, a substantial amount of time. My biggest aha moment with AI tools uh, really have helped me achieve uh, efficiency in, way in ways that I never thought possible before. 
it has saved me time and brought my business idea closer to reality. And as Dan was mentioning, thank you for the introduction for the past uh, decade. I really have immersed myself in the world of climate policy and advocacy as a consultant, uh, frequently diving into the realms of communications, including advertising, journalism, and PR. So this journey has endowed me with a distinct skill set that really makes me an invaluable asset when it comes to spearheading effective advocacy campaigns for nonprofits that engage directly with local and state legislatures. And today, I, I feel that I stand better prepared uh, to continue building bridges between the worlds of communication and science, thanks to this program. And I really want to thank the entire FISC team and the coaches, and of course, District 5 for making this program happen. Thank you very much. Thank you for that beautiful presentation. You have a real gift for visual design. Um, every single one of your colibris is more beautiful than the next. Um, two Thank questions. You, um, are you a designer? Or are you the one who designed those? Or do you have someone you work with? No, it, um, everything it's been me. I always liked it, but the time it's been my issue. And so with these tools, um, I feel like I can really take on something new and something that I that I always wanted to do. That's how I started in the communication school. Uh, I, actually, I started with advertising and this included a lot of digital marketing and Photoshop, et cetera, what it used to be used back in the day. But uh, now after decades, uh, so much has changed. So I really feel like I can actually do it now. Yeah, it, it, you're obviously doing it on behalf of your companies, but you could potentially do it uh, professionally. I mean, it's it's some of the most beautiful work I've seen uh, in many uh, businesses that I've trained, and certainly no owner that I've met can produce that kind of content, that kind of quality of imagery. Uh, the second question is actually your bio talks about you being an environmental uh, a climate resilience consultant, yet the uh, business you're promoting seems to be an event business. Could you just clarify? Yes. Uh, so this uh, creating events and um, really immersing people into um, really helping people changing their view to the environment that surrounds us and help them understand how critical everything really plays out and interconnects I think that's kind of the essence or of where my business is heading. And I, as I mentioned before, I my interest has always been in communications um, and really connecting to people. So this kind of event marketing and even music festival, it's been in the back of my mind. Um, although I was playing some communications aspects into my real day-to-day -day work, uh, very different policy and working with government, it's a very office, very, um, very serious, a lot of reading, uh, working with interdisciplinary professionals. Uh, but it's, I, I feel like it's been part of my personality, just really learning, uh, taking a little bit or just learning a little bit from different types of professionals and people so you can, you can always learn. Um, I don't find myself placed in one box. I like to create my own fusion. And by no means, uh, what I have shown you today is my final, uh, my final steps. I feel that this is just the beginning. I just have shown you what the tools can really help me uh, create more and more. The more I dive in, the more I find my branding identity. Uh, that's really, it's been the most critical. Yeah. Um, do I have permission to share uh, like a reflection just about what I've been seeing? Of cool. course. Thank you. So um, I was actually on Capitol Hill on Tuesday and I gave testimony in front of the House uh, Committee on Small Business. And what I talked about was a Japanese concept called Ikigai. And Ikigai is four things. It's what you're the best in the world at, what you can make money doing, what you love doing, and what the world needs. It's kind of like your professional sweet spot. It's that place where you feel at your, uh, I call it your professional love. And what I am observing in you is a little bit of scatteredness. 
like it seems like you're do you have multiple logos for the same company you are a your bio says you're a climate resilience consultant and yet you're promoting an event business and you are so clearly hyper talented like everybody is totally with me on this it's like it jumps out of the screen you are um you present beautifully um you're very intelligent you work hard you're a brilliant designer you have a lot of development and background and yet I would struggle if somebody asked me, what does Claudia do to tell you? And so what I think you actually are in the process of is searching for your ikigai. You're searching for that professional sweet spot. And I just want you to know um, I'm there. Like it spent six years searching for it. And I really found, I fa found that I found it only in the last couple of months. Um, and so you know, keep agitating, keep trying new things. Um, recognize that your business will not succeed. You will struggle because if you're not focused, you won't make a lot of money. You can't, but that's okay. Like it's better for you to find the thing that like that you love and search around a little while. And as long as you make enough to get by, continue the search, but, but recognize that, you know, you, until you find a focus, that that matches your ikigai, you will not have a successful business. Agreed. And thank you so much for all that you have said, Dan. I feel like I'm st still on the search, but I feel closer than ever before. And thank you for that. Yeah. You know, it's we talk about marketing as a test and learn process. Discovering your ikigai and finding your professional sweet spot, sweet spot is a test and learn process as well. And what I see in you more than anything else is a person who's experimenting. Um, and, I, you know, I'm a fellow traveler. And so, you know, I'm here for you for now and forever to help you in that journey. Thank you.